While we were on Independence of the Seas, Joanne convinced me that we should try the chef's table since we were not doing any kind of specialty dining. Chef's table is an elevated dining experience where dishes are paired with a specific wine. There are a limited number of seats at the chef's table and this makes it very intimate as well as exclusive. This dining experience had six courses. The first course was scallop carpaccio and it was paired with an Italian pinot grigio. The second course was a smoked tomato soup. It was paired with conundrum, which is a Chardonnay blend. It's one of our favorites. The next course was the main lobster salad. It was paired with a Marisole Chardonnay, which is another one of our favorites. The next course was a roasted branzino paired with a Chardonnay. This fish tasted very good. The fifth course was the filet mignon and it was paired with the decoy Cabernet Sauvignon. This was cooked to perfection and the wine was very good. The sixth and final course, the dessert, was a peanut butter ganache paired with an espresso martini. This was a very good ending to a very good meal. I must admit that I had previously been resistant to the chef's table, but that is because we had always booked specialty dining and the chef's table never was included in the specialty dining packages. Since we were not doing any specialty dining packages this time, I thought, sure, let's try the chef's table. And I was definitely happy to do so. In the end, I thought it was worth it, and I really enjoyed the meal, and the waiter kept bringing the wine, so I was definitely happy the entire time. Thanks for letting me ramble, and I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please hit like, and don't forget to subscribe to the Rambling with Phil YouTube channel to see more videos like this.